At Air Casey Senior, Emmett Wheatley here with us. Big night for you, Emmett. You win the long jump, 100 and 200 so far. A couple of meet records under your belt. How do you feel uh, you've done tonight? Um, they both felt actually really good. Um, the 200 has been, uh, we've been working on improving our thresholds lately. So I've been starting to get off on a full sprint for about 175 and just getting out on the first 25, but then getting a full sprint the final 175. And then the uh, open one tonight, actually, it felt like I was getting faster as the race went on. Usually it's kind of, I hit a wall and I just feel like I never keep improving. I'm just kind of at the same pace. But tonight really felt like I just kept getting faster the whole time and it really showed in my time. 10.95 uh, in that 100, which you set the new Adair Casey score record and a meet record here in Ottoman, which had stood for almost 50 years. Take us through that race, how'd you feel? Um, it was, it was definitely fun. It was, I've ran against uh, most of the kids before this year, and uh, so it's been fun racing with those guys a number of times, and just seeing how their times compare to mine as the meets keep going on, and really glad I've just kept progressing my time, and really improving in the last few meets. So hopefully it keeps getting better before a state comes. In that 200, you broke your own school record, which you'd set earlier this year, and another meet record. You talked about increasing your threshold. Explain a little bit more what you mean by that. Um, I used to, uh, back when I first started the 200, I didn't really think there was much to it besides sprint the whole thing. And I looked up some YouTube videos and got some good coaching from my previous coach, Coach Wolf and Coach Mossback. And uh, it's more of a, I started to get out for about the first 75 and then really take off on a dead sprint the last 125 and this year we really worked on like just getting out for 25.50 and then having a full sprint the last 150 to 125 just to maintain and not lose any ground. The long jump you won Eddie that too Kornhoff it's something you're relatively new at. Uh, explain or tell us a little bit about Eddie your, uh, your improvement throughout the year and how you feel you're jumping at this time. Uh, my first meet of the year was actually uh, 1911 and I got second and I think we've had six or seven meets this year and I've won every one of them except for two and my time or my jump has improved every single meet. I went from 19 and 11 to 21 won the past two meets and first call a few boys, 20 feet in there and first call, boys, it's definitely improving as the year goes on and I hope it goes up at least a couple track. more inches before districts and hopefully I can get to state in that. We just we don't really have a long jump pit to work on so we just kind of I guess you could say we just kind of wing it when we get here. You know, from Only the long distance, so I kind of just ran the 4x1 and 4x2 at the end of the year, and then my sophomore year I finally went out and did the open 1 and open 2, and I just kept working at that, and I quit cross country and just focused on sprints. A track for somebody to stick with it for four years, they obviously have to like running quite a bit and uh, really want to excel at it. How much of a passion is it for you to run? Are the boys just um, relay? Well, I don't really like this event we have having to run every day, under having to work. I like practice, it's just, Center, it's fun, Griswold, but some days I, Panorama, Audison, it's just running and it kind of gets old, but it's definitely worth it coming out to the meets and competing as a team and talking to people and having a good time. And I really like to PR and improve times it's just that's usually that's this what i think is the most fun just boys, setting your own records and achieving your own goals and seeing what you can break along the way that's what i find the most fun in it in the class 1a your times in the 100 and 200 are right up there with the tops in the state what are your goals here down the stretch um well in uh 100 i qualified for the finals and it all started last year so that's kind of a bummer so really hoping that i can finish in the top two this year it's kind of champion runner-up or I guess whatever happens happens but that's the goal for now all right thanks a bunch appreciate it